welcome to Cox High School Sports On Demand, powered by Max Preps In Demand. We're here at Chapman Stadium at the University of Tulsa for the 2014 Backyard Bowl. Of course, any time these two teams meet, it is a spectacle. The last time being just seven months ago in the state championship game where the Trojans topped the Redskins on this very field. Union is coming off a heartbreaking defeat last week against South Lake Carroll in Texas, falling 42-41 in overtime while the Trojans stomped Bixby in their home opener. Can Jinx continue their impressive 28-game winning streak, or will Union rise as the team to beat in green country? Let's find out. Union starts this one out on offense with quarterback Mason Farquhar throwing an interception to number 21, Dylan Stoner of the Trojans. Cooper Nunley then hands off to number 26, Kalen McDavid, who powers down to the Union 25. Next play, and Nunley finds Stoner in the end zone from 25 yards out for the first score of the game. Danny Nunley's kick is good, and the Trojans take an early 7-0 lead over the Redskins. Farqua out of the shotgun, drops back, connects with number 11, Robert Thomas, who picks up a block and speeds down to the 45 for a first down. Mason then sells the give to number 22, Tyler Adkins, and takes off downfield. Nothing but daylight as the Union quarterback sprints 45 yards for the touchdown. Chris Kirby's extra point is good, tying this one up at seven. Nunley looking for number eight, Carson Epps. It's picked off by number 25, Trey Brown, who takes it back to the Jinx 38-yard line. A few plays later, Atkins takes a handoff from Farquaad, dances down to the Jinx three, where Mason is able to punch it in for another Union score. The extra point's good, as Union takes a 14-7 lead over Jinx with 3.18 left in the first. Trojans at midfield and Nunley drops back and finds number 13, Brett Stanley at the Union 17 for a huge game. Cooper then fires for Epps again and is again picked off by Brown for the Redskins. Incredibly athletic play here by number 97, Marquise Overton, who knocks away Farquaad's pass while falling, forcing an incompletion. Nunley's troubles continue, though, throwing his third interception of the game, this time to number six, Brandon Golfman. Trojans on their own 42, handoff to McDavid, who streaks through the middle down to the Union 7 for a 51-yard game. Number 41, Eric Giddens takes Nunley down in the backfield for a sack, forcing the Trojans to settle for a field goal. The kick is good, making it Jinx 10, Union 14, with two minutes left in the half. Farqua airs it out here to number 87, Holton Fox, who makes a fantastic grab before being taken down at the Trojan 25. Thomas then goes up top for this catch in the end zone from 11 yards out for the score. The extra point's good as Union increases their lead 21 to 10 over Jinx just before the half. Nunley out of the shotgun and finds Epps wide open down to the Union 20. Redskins on offense, and Mason is cut down in the backfield by number 56, Wyatt Scribner at midfield. Nunley gets into a rhythm here in the third, first connecting with Stanley for a huge gain downfield, and then Epps inside the Union 10 a couple of plays later. The Renskins defense came to play, though, with a pair of sacks from number 10, Malin Aljaburi, and number 5, Adrian Lewis, to hold Jinx to another field goal. Donnelly's kick is good, making it Jinx 13, Union 21, with three minutes left in the third.
Number 18, Carter Nelson, then comes screaming through the line to take down Farquhar in the backfield for a big loss. Mason on the run hits number 21, Shamari Brooks, who takes it down to the Jinx 10, setting up a curvy field goal. The kick extends Union's lead to 24 over the Trojans with seven left in the game. Tyler Atkins from the Union 30 finds a seam and sprints down to the Jinx 40, closing out the 11th annual Backyard Bowl. Final score here at TU, Jinx 13, Union 24. There you have it, the Union Redskins taking the 2014 Backyard Bowl, snapping a 28-game win streak by Jinx. They face Broken Arrow next week at home, while the Trojans take on Owasso on the road. Thanks for joining us here at Cox High School Sports On Demand, powered by Max Preps In Demand. We'll catch you next time.